happy trails for the Rangers as they embark on a nine-day break after breaking the spirit of the Vegas Golden Knights. Hi, everyone. John Giannone, Henrik Lundqvist, Steve Aliquette inside our Delta MSG studios. 4-1 Rangers, the final. We talked in the pregame, Hank. You want to go into a break like this yeah. on a high note? This was pretty high tonight. Yeah, I'm happy for the boys. <laughs> I can just sense the feeling now. Everybody's probably getting on a plane tomorrow to enjoy much-needed break to really regroup until the last push but when you watch this game first pair was not great they were still up two nothing mm -hmm. the key here was they changed the way they were playing i should say they focused in on the details within their game in the second and third they did not give up as many chances they were not as sloppy with the puck so that was the key they changed in their play from first to second period but great way to end it going yeah. into this break. 49 games down. Rangers now have 62 points as they head to the break. Of course, three players, Panarin, Fox, and Shesterkin will head to the All-Star game. Steve, the Rangers had a goal in the first, a goal in the second, two in the third. Let's start with Chris Kreider's goal in the first. Yeah. It is our, inside our film room, powered by CDWHP. Show us how Kreider was able to score his 20th for an eighth time as a Ranger. I guess what we take away from this game is the Rangers have established a four-check offense line. And when you look at the way that Trocek, Goudreau, and Kreider want to play, they want to play north. So it helps when Miller gets that puck into space that Goudreau can skate into because you need that, you need to read the play, and you need energy and support to be able to create offense. And then what happens, fellas, is that Vegas is in a bad position to defend. Trocek was very close on support. Kreider reads it smartly and gets himself through the middle of the ice. You get the benefit of the bounce because the intent was there. And for a team coming into this one that was 26th in chances and 26th in goals off the forecheck, you had two that really had that element of forecheck. And it helps because if you're playing against an opponent that might be a little banged up on the back end or struggling to get out of their zone, that's a line that you know you can count on to send over the boards. Go ahead, boys. Go have at it. <laughs> that's what they showed us tonight. That was a great line, and they were spectacular you on the forecheck. You sense going into this game. You watched that line and kind of figure out how are they going to play this game. Like you said, straight lines going to the net. They're not as fancy as the Young, young Guns line, but they have the ability to take it to the net. And when you do, good things will happen. We saw a couple of goals tonight, weird bounces, but mm -hmm. the decision to take it to the net, that's where it starts. Yeah, all right, so 20 goals now for Chris Kreider, eight different seasons. Only five of the Rangers had ever done that. Rod Bear, Adam Graves, uh, let's see, Andy Bathgate, Camille Henry. Uh, so it's, it's rare company for Adam Graves to do that. John Rattel, the other. So he made it one nothing. That line, though, guys, was not done because inside the final minute of the first period, Vincent Trocek, who, as uh, Chris Kreider admitted, his shot that went off Kreider's leg probably would have gone in anyway, was able to get one of his own first time in 11 games. So this one wasn't exactly four-check offense because it then settled into offensive zone play, but you still get the same theme because the message from the start once again was, let's get the puck down ice, let's beat them down ice, let's put pressure on them. And Aiden Hill wasn't that great with the puck in this game. I thought he gave away quite a few, but this was one that actually counted for the Rangers. Trocek was fast enough on it, but you still get that same support. Kreider puts the puck into space, now you have everybody spinning. Take a quick look at where Vegas is. All of their eyeballs are on Trocek. So now you have the ability to go back up to the half wall and then to the blue line. If that's the play, now you've got guys that want to be net front. Goudreau and Kreider, they want to be there. They want to have a presence there. You've got Vegas guys falling all over the place, and now it's an open rink. And this is why Trocek here gets into space where Goudreau can read. The goalie is down on the post on the wrong side of the net. But how does all of that start? It all starts with a very direct play down the ice. It wasn't exactly four-check offense, but it sure started the play.